Opponents of the Muskogee Creek Nation chief faced a critical deadline. People trying to impeach Principal Chief George Tiger had until today to submit their petition. Two Works View reporter Will Dupree found out if they collected enough signatures and joins us now live in Okmulgee. Will? Well, Karen, the group would not say exactly how many signatures they collected, but they say it was not enough to try to force the removal of Chief Tiger. Despite all that, the group plans to keep working toward its goal. Opponents of Chief Tiger shared a setback in their effort to get him removed from office after setting out to collect more than 3,200 signatures needed to submit to tribal leadership. They fell short of their goal. We're saddened, but we see the light at the end of the tunnel, and that's what we're reaching for. Shelly Brandy led the effort to remove Chief Tiger. The petition she circulated made several allegations against him. Those included working with a competing tribe, as well as made claims of bribery and embezzlement. We fell short a handful, but we had enough to turn an election. Earlier this month, Chief Tiger announced he'll seek re-election. At his campaign kickoff, he told us that he believes he has the support for a second term. I would not run. If there was any, any inklings of something that I've done against the Constitution that I took an oath to uphold. Tonight, however, his critics say Chief Tiger should not be so confident. Those are votes that he had that he doesn't have now. They believe the movement they started to get him out of office will now translate to the ballot box. Well, Chief Tiger's opponents said they're now going to consider getting behind another candidate when others join the race for principal chief. Reporting live in Okmulgee, Will Dupree, 2 News, works for you.